Welcome to Dairy Judging 101. I am Dr. Katherine Knowlton, a professor in the Department of Dairy Science at Virginia Tech. Today we're going to talk about judging heifers. More specifically, we'll talk about evaluating dairiness, finding the clean, open-ribbed heifers that you want toward the top of the class. A lot of times students tell me that judging heifers is more difficult for them than judging cows, and I don't disagree. One of the challenges is that there's no official PDCA scorecard for heifers the way there is for cows. Maybe that's why, but it seems like there's a lot more variation between judges and officials on priorities in judging heifers. A few years ago, the faculty and staff at the University of Wisconsin at Madison developed and distributed a proposed scorecard for judging heifers that's been widely adopted. We've modified this just a bit, combining categories for simplicity. When I teach students how to judge heifers, these are my priorities. If you've been watching our Dairy Judging 101 channel, you know that I like mantras, phrases that you can just repeat to yourself that will really help you when you've got to make these decisions. So for judging heifers, our mantra is correct, clean and open heifers who are big enough. We've already posted a video on the first of these priorities, correctness of frame, feet, and legs. If you haven't reviewed that one yet, I encourage you to do so. Today, what we're gonna focus on is the second, clean and open heifers. The questions I ask in this category are, is she clean enough? Is she open enough? And as always when I judge, the potential answers are yes, no, or I can live with it if I had to, but I'd sure like to find better. A yes is a heifer that I can consider toward the top of the class. A no is a heifer that I really need to move down for dairiness. And I can live with it if I had to, but I'd sure like to find better is exactly what it sounds like. If it's a pretty ordinary, not real high quality class, you might need to win with her if she is correct and big enough. But if you've got three or four correct, clean and open heifers who are big enough, then these I'd like to find better heifers will slide down and they'll be in the middle of the class. So one of the things that makes these questions complicated is that it varies. In this presentation, I'll talk a little bit about knowing whether a heifer is clean and open enough for her age, clean and open enough for her breed. But first, let's start by going through where on the heifer you should look when you're evaluating cleanliness and openness. There are several places to look to evaluate cleanliness and openness. Let's start at the front, looking at the throat of the heifer and her neck. These are pretty self-explanatory, but let me show you exactly where I'm looking. The throat, I'm looking just under her jaw. The neck is literally the appearance of the length of the neck. I've got two red and white heifers here that I think provide a really nice contrast. Next, let's look down over the heifer's top, and I really encourage you to be systematic about putting yourself in the right spot so that you can get this view. Looking down over the top, I'm looking at the heifer's withers, and I guess it's called the short ribs. That's kind of a beef term. I don't know that I'd let my kids use that phrase in their reasons, but it's the best way I know to show you where I'm looking. Do you see how the Holstein heifer on the left, I can see the tips of her short ribs. On the right, the Jersey heifer, there's a lot more fat filled in there. From that same angle, you get a really good look at the hooks and the pins. And again, the Holstein on the left is really clean over the hooks and go back to the pins and very sharp. I see that ligament clearly defined. The red heifer on the right is quite a lot more filled in over the hooks and over the pins. For a calf especially, I'm going to be critical of the heifer on the right. I think she's really carrying too much weight. Now let's look at the thigh. Both of these Jersey heifers have got just a beautiful flat incurving thigh. And these arrows show you specifically, it's almost like there's a crease there coming down on an angle at her thigh. And to varying degrees, depending on how old the heifer is, that's what I'm looking for. Here's another pair of calves, another angle on the thigh. The Holstein calf on the left has that crease that I'm looking for, that thin thigh. The red heifer on the right is pretty round in the thigh, especially for a calf. One final and really important place to look for cleanliness is over the ribs. The Holstein on the left, easy to see. The Guernsey on the right, she's not clipped up, 
but if you can look through the hair, that's a clean ribbed heifer. I want to stop for a minute and talk about the difference in how you evaluate cleanliness depending on the age of the heifer. I think you know this, we expect calves to be cleaner than older heifers. Older heifers, your spring yearlings, winter yearlings, your fall yearlings, they should be pregnant, they should be getting closer to calving. We expect them to carry a little bit more weight and it's okay. I've got pictures here of a Jersey and of a red and white. They're similar in their cleanliness, the degree of flesh that they're carrying. For a yearling, it's fine. For a calf, eh. I'd like to see that calf in the lower right cleaner, especially back over the rump and down in the thigh. Two more heifers, a similar comparison. On the left is a fall yearling. She's getting ready to calve and the degree of condition she's carrying is absolutely fine. I would not discriminate against this heifer in the show ring for cleanliness. On the other hand, the calf on the right is carrying too much condition for her age. I want to show you a few more pictures of that fall yearling because I think this is an important point. Older yearlings are allowed to carry more weight. The reason I took so many pictures of this heifer is that she got thumped a little bit in the fall yearling class for lacking cleanliness. In my opinion, she shouldn't have. Now, remember when I started this presentation, I said that there's a lot more variation between judges and between officials in judging heifers than there is in cows. And what I'm talking about now is to some extent a matter of opinion. But for my taste, this heifer is clean enough. I can still see cleanliness of the ribs. She is clean in the pins. I think she's fine. Here's a couple more examples. This Jersey yearling in my mind is definitely clean enough for her age. On the other hand, this yearling, I'm trying to cut her some slack, but, but she is just too fat. Do you see there over the hooks and the pins? She's carrying a, a fair amount of fat. Now I want to change gears a little bit because dairiness is not all about skinniness. It's not all about the condition that they're carrying. It's also about openness of rib. What I'm talking about here is the angle to the rib, the spacing between the ribs, the spring of rib as viewed from behind. This Jersey calf on the left has got just a really nice angle to her rib, spacing to her rib. The Swiss calf on the right, I'm not critical of her cleanliness, but she hasn't got any spring to her rib. Openness is also about the depth and the drop to the rear rib and the openness in the heart. The Ayrshire on the left is I'd like to find better. She's got decent angle to her rib, but to me she's a little pinched in the heart. Do you see where the arrow is pointing? Right behind the point of elbow. She's just not as full in the heart, not as open in the heart as I'd like to see. The heifer in the lower right is a very clear no to me on openness. She, she's tight-ribbed, she's shallow-bodied. Looking at her makes me like, makes me like gasp for air. I don't know, I don't know how she fills her, her lungs. Here's a few more examples. This Jersey and the Holstein, beautiful open-ribbed heifers. You can see the spacing between their ribs. You can see the angle to their ribs. These are nice heifers. Two more yeses on openness. I showed you these two heifers earlier when we were talking about cleanliness over the ribs. They're also very open in the rib. On the other hand, here are two heifers, and both of them are yearlings. I don't think these two heifers are open enough. They don't have the drop to the rear rib. They don't have the obvious angle to the rib, spacing to the rib. Let me come back to that age thing. We do expect older heifers to be more open in their rib, to have more drop to the rear rib, to have more angle and spacing between their ribs. And to me, these two yearlings don't have enough of that. That gives me a good opportunity to bring back a picture of that fall yearling that you know I love so well, the one that got thumped a little bit for carrying too much weight. And so she's in the upper left. But you know, I prefer her as a yearling to the skinnier black heifer in the lower right. The heifer in the lower right is carrying less condition, but she is just not open enough. And I'm gonna go one over two on dairiness every day of the week. Okay, so we have talked about the difference in what we expect from calves and yearlings in terms of cleanliness. I do want to spend a little bit of time talking about breed differences. Differences between breeds on dairiness are not nearly as extreme as what we saw 20 and 30 years ago, but there still is a difference. 
the Swiss in the upper left for a brown Swiss, yes, definitely, she is super, super clean. The Holstein in the lower right is similar in terms of the degree of condition that she's carrying, but for me, she's, I'd like to find better. I do expect Holsteins and Jerseys, Ayrshire's and Guernsey's to be just a bit cleaner. And again, some people may disagree with me on this. Here's a picture of a different Swiss calf. And for a Swiss, I think she's fine. I think she's clean enough. And where the arrows are, do you see the openness of rib? But if she were a Jersey of the same age, to my eyes, she wouldn't be clean enough. Two more heifers in the upper left, that Swiss yearling, I think she's fine. She's clean enough. And for a Swiss, she's got enough openness of rib. There's angle, there's spacing, there's drop to the rear rib. The jersey in the lower right is built almost identically, but for a jersey, eh, she's not no, but I, I'd like to find better. I want to add one last thing to this discussion of dairiness in heifers, and it's a bit of a subtle point. It's something called refinement or femininity. This is a trait that goes beyond cleanliness and, and openness. To show you what I'm talking about, I've put a picture up of a Jersey who absolutely has that refinement and a Holstein that doesn't. So where do you look? I look two places. Primarily, I look at the leg bone below the hock. What I'm looking for is a flat, refined, clean bone below the hock. And you see the contrast between the Jersey and the Holstein. Also, from a distance, you can see the contrast and refinement in the shoulder. Do you see how much heavier boned that Holstein heifer is compared to the Jersey heifer? Let's zoom in on the lower leg and I'll show you examples. On the left, these two white heifers are very flat boned. They're refined. They're feminine. And then as you go to the right, there's a heifer above that's a little heavier boned. I tell my kids it's a little bit more like a Clydesdale where I really want an Arabian. So that heifer above is, I'd like to find better in terms of refinement. She's a little heavier boned in the hock. She's a little heavier boned below the hock. Keep going to the right and the legs that I'm picturing there, I have as a no on refinement. Now, to be fair, the one on the right is a 12-year-old dry cow. You won't often see this kind of a coarse bone in a heifer. But if you did, I'd call it a no. And two more examples. The white heifer on the left is, I could live with it on refinement if I had to, but I'd sure like to find better. She's just heavier boned than I want to see in a calf. The red yearling on the right, looking at her from the front end, that's a no. She's, she's just awfully heavy boned. It's not just a question of condition. She's just really big boned. And in a heifer, I want a little bit more refinement than that. Take a look at these two heifers. In terms of clean, open-ribbed, refined heifers, which of these two do you prefer? For me, I think it's pretty obvious. The heifer in back is the more dairy-like heifer. She's cleaner boned, she's thinner in the thigh, she has more openness to her rib, more openness in the heart. That's enough difference to be a placeable point. I would go one over two, left over right, every day of the week because of dairiness. I hope this presentation has helped you know where to look to find heifers of different ages and different breeds that have the clean, open frame you want in the heifers you place at the top of the class. And I think that's enough for today. Let's pull back big picture, remember our mantra, remember our priorities in judging heifers. We are looking for correct, clean and open heifers who are big enough. All together now, we're looking for correct, clean and open heifers who are big enough. Correct, clean and open heifers who are big enough. Correct, clean and open heifers who are big enough. We are looking for correct, clean and open heifers who are big enough. If this presentation has been useful to you, go to our YouTube channel and watch some of the others that we're posting. Now, let me stop and do some thank yous. First, I need to thank the Virginia Tech students who have helped me put together this presentation. They are Abby Mousery, Hannah Van Dyke, and Carol Lohusian. Thank you to Hordes Dairyman for their support of this overall project. And of course, thank you to Dr. Mike Barnes, the longtime coach of the Virginia Tech judging team who developed the approach we talk about here. 
It's taken a little longer to put together these heifer judging presentations just because it's challenging to get the pictures that I need to show you what we're looking for. On that note, I really need to thank World Dairy Expo, Dusty Sherm, and the exhibitors at the Clinton County Fair in New York and the Virginia State Holstein Show for allowing me to take pictures of their heifers to use here. Finally, thank you as always to dairy farmers across the country who host judging practices for your judging team and ours.